<laughs> hmm, I woke up so late today. After helping my mom last night, I continued watching my favorite movies until 2 a.m. <sighs> Aduh, bila masa pula ada tiang dekat sini? Gedebush! Eh, lama ah. Dia muncul kat mana pula dah ni? Hmm, is this a jungle? Oh my god, this is so creepy. Hmm, where am I? Alamak, hai. Ish. <laughs> Wait, do you hear that? Is that a dinosaur? Oh my god, I better run. Oi, tadi aku rasa macam ada bau manusia Mana dia nari dah It's morphin time Miss Ju, the fire blaster Ready to fight Hey, yeah. Sikit mata sikit Ting Ish, aku ni dah lelah Pak ni tak makan berapa hari dia ni Mana dia manusia ni Hey, Eh, T-Rex, Hang ni berani no nak main-main dengan Miss Ju. Hang belum kenal siapa Miss Ju. Heya! Ya! Ya! Alamak, alamak, alamak. Minyak habis. Phew, nasib baik ada super power kan? Hey everyone, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. For those who don't know me, I am Miss Ju. Are you ready to learn English with me? Yay! Let's go! Wait, wait, wait. Before we go, make sure you like this video. Leave your comment down below. And um, share my channel with your friends. Subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to click the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Okay? Okay. Now, we are ready to go. Yay! Let's go! Adik-adik suka makan Maggi tak? Kalau makan Maggi, suka makan perisa apa? Dan lagi satu, kalau adik-adik makan Maggi, uh, suka tak letak telur, ayam, dang ke, sotong ke? Ataupun adik-adik ni memang suka makan Maggi kosong? Hmm, eh, apa kena mengenai Maggi dengan apa yang kita nak belajar hari ni? Well, the same goes to your writing composition or your writing task. Imagine if you uh, write your essay plain as plain as Maggi Kosong. Mesti tak best kan? So today, we are going to learn about a variety types of sentence formation. Sentence formation is the key ingredient to a good writing. A good writing must have a variety of sentence structure. Well, if you have a good writing, you can attract your reader and you can make your essay more interesting. There are several types of sentence structure that you can use when you write your essay, which are simple sentence, compound sentence, and complex sentence. Kalau dalam BM, adik-adik belajar ayat tunggal dan juga ayat majmuk. Do you remember? Ingat tak cikgu BM aja? Ah, kalau tak ingat, siap hampa. <laughs> okay, so for today, in this lesson, I am going to teach you or I'm going to show you three different uh, types of sentence structure that you can use in your essay. Before we go to the main focus of today's lesson, you need to understand about clause. Eh, 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 eh. Mana datang pula pak cik ni? Hello, 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 hello. Not you lah pak cik Klaus. Ish, ko 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 ko. I mean Klaus. Can you see? Klaus. So what is Klaus? I'll try my best to explain about the use of Klaus as simple as simple as possible. Okay, supaya adik-adik boleh faham dengan lebih baik. Klaus is a group of words that has 
a subject and a verb. Do you still remember subject and verb? Ingat lagi tak subject and verb? Okay, let me remind you. Okay, subject. Okay, kita tengok eh. Subject ni adalah siapa yang melakukan perbuatan dalam ayat yang kita buat. And then verb. Okay, adalah kata kerja ataupun the action ataupun perbuatan yang dilakukan oleh subjek dalam ayat tu. So, again, clause is a group of words that has a subject and a verb. There are two types of clause that we are going to learn in this lesson. First, independent clause and second, dependent clause. Let's look at independent clause first. <coughs> independent clause it can stand alone and it is a complete thought. Maksudnya dekat sini, independent clause ni adalah satu ayat yang lengkap dan dia tak tergantung. Okay, bila kita baca, kita boleh faham. Here are a few examples of independent clause. Remember, independent clause is a, co uh, a complete sentence ataupun ayat yang lengkap. Okay, bila kita baca, uh, kita boleh faham dan dia tak tergantung. Let's look at uh, sentence number one. Eric loves his cat. So, kat situ kita ada subject, Eric. And then we have verb, loves. And then the object, his cat. So, Eric loves his cat is an independent clause. Now, let's look at the second example. His cat is sick. Okay, again, his cat is sick. In this sentence, we have subject era his cat. Okay, dalam ayat yang kedua ni kita ada subject dia iaitu his cat. And then is sick. Dekat sini kita ada linking verb which is is. So, ayat ni adalah lengkap sebab dia ada complement dekat belakang. Is sick. Sick. Okay, last one. Okay, if you look at the third example, it died. Okay, maksudnya it tu merujuk kepada uh, Eric's cat. It died. Okay, if you look at this sentence, it is actually, it is a complete sentence, a complete thought. Okay, um, if we have subject and then we have died, mati. Ia mati. So, ayat tu tak tergantung. Betul tak? Kita faham. Ia mati. Okay, so these three examples are the example of independent clause. Next, we have dependent clause. Well, Dependent clause, it cannot stand alone as a sentence. It means, okay, maksudnya dekat sini, bila kita baca dependent clause, we cannot understand it because it is not complete. Bila kita baca, kita tak faham sebab ayat dia tak lengkap ataupun uh, ayat dia tergantung. Well, dependent clause, uh, lack of either a subject or a verb, okay, sama ada dia tak ada subject ataupun dia tak ada verb, Uh, or it has both okay dia ada subject dan ada verb tapi it is not a complete thought okay bila kita baca kita tak faham okay ataupun yang lebih senang ingat senang macam inilah uh, dependent clause is ayat tergantung ataupun tergantung tak lengkap and then independent clause yang tadi tu okay independent clause is ayat lengkap okay bila kita baca kita boleh faham Now, these are a few examples of dependent clause. Okay, ingat lagi sekali, dependent clause adalah ayat yang tak lengkap ataupun tergantung. Okay, let's look at the first one. Since his cat is sick. Since his cat is sick. Okay, disebabkan kucing dia sakit. So, apa? Kan? Ah, so dekat sini ah, Kita boleh nampak ayat ni Dia tergantung Disebabkan kucing dia sakit Adik-adik boleh faham tak? Of course, tak boleh faham kan? Okay, so let's look at the second example After doing all the chores After doing all the chores So, is this a complete thought? Of course not Okay, ini adalah sesuatu yang tidak lengkap Ataupun tergantung Selepas melakukan kerja. Then, ah, uh, okay. So, this is what I mean by dependent clause. Ayat yang tidak lengkap ataupun tergantung. Now that we have learned the two types of clauses, which are 
independent clause and dependent clause let's move on to the main focus for today's lesson which are the three types of sentence structure today i'm going to teach you the simple sentence com uh, compound sentence and compact sentence okay to make it easier for you in bm you learn about ayat tunggal dan ayat majmuk betul tak ingat tak okay so dalam bm uh, I have asked my BM teacher at school about this type of sentence and then dalam BM se, uh, setahu sahaya, saya okay, setahu saya ada dua iaitu ayat tunggal dan ayat majmuk but in English we have three okay, dalam English kita ada tiga we have simple sentence compound sentence and complex sentence okay so are you ready let's go Let's start with simple sentence. Okay, a simple sentence, it contains a subject and a verb. Okay, dalam ayat simple, ia ada satu subjek dan juga satu verb. And it expresses a complete thought. Okay, so uh, senang cerita, simple sentence is independent clause. Okay, remember ingat tak tadi kan kita dah explain about independent clause is actually Simple sentence ni sebenarnya adalah independent clause where it has a subject and also a verb and it expresses a complete thought. Ya, yeah, maksudnya ayat dia tak tergantung. Ayat lengkap. So, here are a few examples of simple sentence. Okay, ini ada beberapa contoh ayat simple. Let's look at sentence number one. Okay, kita tengok ayat nombor satu. I woke up late today. I woke up late today. Saya bangun lambat hari ni. Okay, if you look at my sentence, I put subject in green and the verb in purple. Purple? Yeah. Okay, so I, there, over there, is the subject and then woke up is the verb. So, it is a complete thought. Now, let's look at the second example. Kita tengok example yang kedua. Gary is so lazy. Gary is so lazy. So, subject again in green. Gary, subject. Kita ada subject dekat situ. And then, kita ada linking verb, is. Okay. So, Gary is so lazy is a simple sentence or independent clause. Ayat lengkap. Next, let's look at number three. They laugh. Okay, again, they laugh. Mereka ketawa. So, we have both there. Okay, we have subject. And then, we also have that over there is, uh, we also have the verb over there. They love. The verb is love. Okay. Let's move on to the second type of sentence, which is compound sentence. Okay, so what is compound sentence? Um, dalam BM, mungkin lah, mungkin uh, ayat compound adalah ayat majmuk. Okay, so compound sentence, it has two independent clauses joined together with conjunction. Senang cerita macam ni lah. Compound sentence ni, ayat compound ni adalah uh, dua ayat simple yang digabungkan sekali dengan menggunakan conjunction which is kata hubung. So in this uh, sentence, compound sentence, we use coordinating conjunction. Okay, I know some of you might not learn uh, the word coordinating conjunction yet. Okay, mungkin ada yang belum belajar lagi the word coordinating conjunction. Tapi jangan risau, jangan terkejut. Sebenarnya dah belajar pun kata hubung yang kita belajar dalam kelas. Okay, do you remember fan boys? Tak ingat? Hmm, cuma ada nak buat ni kalau tak ingat. Okay, it's okay. Kalau tak ingat apa? Jom, I remind you. Tadi ada orang cakap, dia tak ingat kan apa itu conjunction Or uh, ada orang kata, eh tak belajarlah coordinating conjunction Actually awak dah belajar dah pun Okay, awak dah belajar dalam kelas kata hubung Okay, cuma dekat hari, hari ni, in this lesson I use coordinating conjunction I use the word coordinating conjunction Sebab saat lagi, lepas ni uh, Teacher nak ada nak ajar satu lagi jenis conjunction Okay, conjunction ni dia ada dua jenis tau Okay, it's okay So let's look at Okay uh, 
coordinating conjunction first if you can see around me here Okay, ada tujuh perkataan dekat keliling tisu ni. So, ketujuh-tujuh ni adalah coordinating conjunction. Okay, uh, maybe some of your teachers taught you fanboys. Ada tak cikgu-cikgu awak ajar fanboys? Okay, so senang nak ingat kan fanboys? We have for, and, nor, but. And then we have uh, but, uh, but here. Sorry, but. And then we have or, and then we have yet, and last one we have so. So all these seven words are coordinating conjunction. Let's look at one example of compound sentence. Again, remember, ingat lagi tak? Compound sentence is where we join two independent clauses using a conjunction. Okay. Ayat compound adalah di mana kita join gabungkan dua ayat simple ataupun dua independent clauses dengan menggunakan kata hubung. So let's look at my example that I have over here. I help my mom to clean the kitchen, so I slept late last night. Okay, so in this sentence, kalau perasan saya letak uh, color, eh? okay, I use color with that. So, the first colour ataupun the first uh, ayat, okay, ataupun the first clause, okay, kita ada The first one is, I help my mom to clean the kitchen Okay, kalau yang tu saja, actually one independent clause ataupun satu simple sentence And then if you look at the second part of this sentence, I slept late last night Okay, saya tidur lambat malam semalam, is another independent clause So, now we are going to join, I help my mom to clean the kitchen And then, I slept late last night. Kita nak joinkan dua perkataan tu ataupun uh, dua uh, sentence ataupun dua independent clauses tu. Kita nak joinkan. So, I use the word ataupun the conjunction so. Okay, remember again, a compound sentence is where you combine or join two independent clauses ataupun kita gabungkan dua ayat simple ataupun ayat tunggal menjadi satu ayat which is compound sentence using conjunction. Okay, easy right? Kacang je pergi cari je. <laughs> okay adik-adik, before we move on, uh, this is an extra notes for you. Okay, if you look at this sentence, okay, kalau nampak ayat ni, Bella is eating some cookies and drinking some milk. Bella is eating some cookies and drinking some milk. Okay, even though in this sentence you have a coordinating conjunction which is and, it is not considered as compound sentence. It is considered as um, simple sentence because, okay, okay lagi sekali eh. Ayat ni, kita tak kira dia sebagai compound sentence walaupun ada coordinating conjunction and dekat situ. Sebab, in this sentence, it has only one subject. Ada satu saja subject which is Bella. So, dia sebenarnya adalah satu, uh, a complete talk. Dia hanya express satu sahaja iaitu Bella ni dia sedang buat dua perkara. So, this is considered as simple sentence, not compound sentence. Boo! Okay, adik-adik. We have come to the third and the last type of sentence structure for today which is the complex sentence. Let's learn about complex sentence. Okay, so a complex sentence is where we join one independent clause with two a uh, one or more dependent clause. Okay, so ayat complex ni adalah di mana kita gabungkan satu independent clause Okay, dengan dependent clause. Ingat tak tadi? Independent and dependent clause. Okay, bukan pakci uh, clause tadi tu eh. <laughs> okay. So, independent clause adalah ayat yang lengkap, yang tak tergantung. Dan dependent clause adalah ayat yang tergantung. So, now we are going to join these two. Okay, kita akan gabungkan ayat uh, dependent clause and independent, uh, sorry, independent clause and dependent clause. Using conjunction, okay, kali ini kita guna conjunction, 
but the other kind of conjunction which is subordinating conjunction okay so, uh, subordinating conjunction so uh, tadi teacher dah tunjuk kat awak coordinating conjunction now let's take a look at subordinating conjunction Okay, so just now I have shown you the coordinating conjunction and this time I'm going to show you what is subordinating conjunction. Okay, subordinating conjunction ni sebenarnya ada banyak. Tapi yang saya tunjuk kat uh, anda semua, dekat adik-adik semua pada hari ini adalah the common one ataupun yang kita biasa pakai dalam ayat. So here again I have seven. Okay, kita ada tujuh subordinating conjunction. Okay, if you look at the first one, we have after and then although, as, before. And then we have uh, because, next we have uh, while, and last one we have since. Okay, all of these you have learned in your textbook. Okay, kita dah belajar. Okay, sebab uh, teacher takkan ajar benda perkara yang awak tak belajar dalam uh, syllabus. So, these are the common subordinating conjunction that you can use in your complex sentence. Okay everyone, so as you can see here, here is one example of complex sentence. Let's read the example together. After cleaning the kitchen, I watch my favorite movie till 2 a.m. So if you can see in this example, okay, there are two colors. Okay, there are two clauses and I put them in colors. Let's look at the first clause. After cleaning the kitchen, okay. So, the first part of this sentence is actually dependent clause. Okay, and in my dependent clause over there, you can see one subordinating conjunction, which is the word after. Okay, kalau boleh nampak bahagian yang pertama, yang berwarna hijau tu, okay, itu adalah dependent clause. Ayat yang tak lengkap ataupun ayat tergantung. Selepas membersihkan dapur, kan? Okay, so dekat uh, dalam uh, dependent clause tu ada subordinate, subordinating conjunction after. And then we have the second part of the sentence. Okay, the second part is the independent clause adalah ayat lengkap dia. So if you read this sentence, okay, kalau boleh baca ayat ini, okay, this is what I mean by complex sentence. Alamak, Miss Tu tertinggal something lah. Okay. Other than uh, subordinating conjunction, you can also use relative pronouns to, uh, in your complex sentence. Here are a few examples of relative pronouns that you can use in your complex sentence. Who, whose, whom, which, and that. Here you can see one example of complex sentence that use a relative pronoun who in the sentence. Okay, so the one in yellow, the girl is my niece, is the independent clause. While the clause in pink is the dependent clause. Okay, uh, yang warna pink tu adalah dia punya dependent clause. Actually, dependent clause tu, kalau kita buang, tinggal the girl is my niece, that one is the independent clause yang kita boleh faham. The one in pink tu, dia hanyalah... Uh, nak explain about the girl. Hmm, bagi satu je example mana cukup betul tak? I will give you more examples of sentences, and for each sentence, you must tell yourself, hmm, tell yourself whether it is simple, compound, or complex sentence. Okay kids, now you can pause this video, read all the sentences uh, that I give you here and identify whether they are simple, compound or complex sentence. Now let's check the answer together. Number 1, Jack and Jill help their dad to clean the house. Simple sentence. Number 2, the house is big but nobody lives in it. Compound sentence. Number three. 
although he is old, but his heart loves to work out. Complex sentence number four: The bicycle that he stole is mine. Complex sentence number five: The tiger roars loudly. Simple sentence number six: I'm on diet, yet I still want to eat the cake. Compound sentence number seven. Since they had won the game, their teacher treated them fried chicken. Complex sentence, and the last one, Puan Farida, whose daughter lives in the UK, is my neighbour. Complex sentence, easy right? Hmm, adik adik, that's it for today's lesson. I hope that you can apply all the knowledge that you have learned from this video when you do your writing task. Promise? Okay. Hmm. I wonder mana dia si T-Rex ni tadi eh? T-Rex? Ya? Eh, nah, Miss Juni. Nak pujuk-pujuk pula. Tadi dah fire orang. Hmm, tak nak lah merajuk. Wow. Ha, ah, datang pun kau. Kan dia? Oh, lo, 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 lo. I love you. Bye, everyone. See you again.